Are you ready to hear about Jesus today? Woo! Uh, thanks, MC Bicho. You got it. I'm just hyping them up for you. I think they're ready. Awesome. Hey, kids. Did you know that before Jesus started his ministry and teaching people about God, someone very special came along to help prepare the way? Kind of like MC Bicho here who was helping me prepare. It was John the Baptist. Let's start the story at the beginning with his parents, Zachariah and Elizabeth. Zachariah and Elizabeth were an older couple who loved and served God. They had never been able to have children on their own. Zachariah served God by being a priest and praying in the temple. One day as he was praying, the angel Gabriel appeared at the right side of the altar. Zachariah was startled and afraid, but angel Gabriel said, do not be afraid. Zachariah, your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear a son and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you and many people will rejoice because of his birth. Gabriel said God would use John to turn people back to, to him, to God. God loved the people so much that he sent John to prepare the way for our savior, Jesus. But Zachariah wasn't so sure. He doubted. How can my wife have a baby? We are far too old. Well, because Zechariah didn't have faith and he doubted, the angel Gabriel said, and now you will be silent and not be able to speak until the day that this happens because you did not believe my word, which will come true at the appointed time. God works in mysterious ways. Let's continue the story. Soon after, Elizabeth discovered that she was going to have a baby. She was old enough to be a grandmother, but God did an amazing thing by giving her a baby. When Elizabeth's baby boy was born, the neighbors all rejoiced with her. Remember what Angel Gabriel said about how many will rejoice because of John's birth? Then on the eighth day, Elizabeth and Zachariah took the baby to the temple to give the baby a new name. This was tradition, and people assume that they will name the baby Zachariah just like the father, which was also another tradition. But Elizabeth corrected them and said, his name will be John. And people were confused. They're like, are you sure? And Zachariah confirmed it by writing on a tablet saying his name is to be John. And as soon as Zechariah wrote this down, something amazing happened. Zechariah began to speak out and praise God. After nine months of silence, Zechariah could speak again. And everyone was so amazed and wondered what will become of this child. The Bible doesn't tell us much about John as he grew up, but we do know that he lived in the desert until he was about 30 years old. He wore clothes made out of camel's hair. He um, ate locusts and wild honey. And during this time in the desert, God was preparing John for the very special work that he was to do, which is to point others to Jesus. The story isn't over yet. To hear the rest, visit the Hope Church website and click on Kids Service. I will see you next week and I hope all the kids have a great start to the new school year.